Um, I'd say I was pretty unaware of the campus rate policy. I didn't really know anything about anything coming into college. It was all completely new. Um, to this day, I don't really know the official policy. Um, yeah, I, I, do. <laughs> I wasn't aware of it at all until orientation. So that was like right before we started school. I would say I wasn't aware of the rate policy until orientation. They talked about it a little bit and showed us a video, but before then, I didn't, really didn't know anything about it. Um, well, during like orientation, they gave us uh, a lot of like information, but I didn't like I wasn't really aware of how much of it would apply or not. Uh, a lot of that, I think, I became more aware when I started to like submerse myself into the school and I started to hear more stories. I think that's when I realized like really what what was available to us, like resources and stuff. On campus, I would say, you say it's pretty safe. Um, I'd say around seven, just because I guess when you go out and uh, you know it's an open campus, so um, when you're out late at night studying and walking back, like it, I mean, it is a little freaky. Uh, probably a seven. Seven. I'd say like an eight because it's pretty well lit and even though it's, it's a public school so anyone's allowed to be on campus. Like in terms of like sexual assault? Yeah. Um, probably a five. Yeah. I would probably report that to the police. We have UCPD. Um, on West Boulevard, not too far from us, and I guess that's the first place I would go. Um, I'd probably like confide in them, my roommates, or call the police. I have like I've heard stories about calling the police, how it doesn't. It's not very quick, so really I'd confide in my roommates first. Back of our brewing card, it gives us the number for both the rape treatment center, the UCPD, and CAP. So depending on like how I feel afterwards, you can go to either of those. Uh, I'm aware that we have a few resources like the Center for Women and Men and we have like a hotline. Um, yeah, I don't know there's like counseling services, but at the end of the day, um, I think the resources aren't really, um, they're not really provided to the extent that they need to be. I would be mad. I'd be so mad. I don't know what I would do exactly, but I mean, file a lawsuit, I'm sure. I don't know. My dad's lawyer will ask him what I should do, I guess. But I, I don't know. I'd be kind of surprised, or very surprised, and then really angry, and then try to take legal action after that. Um, I wouldn't let it go, though. That's the last thing I would do is let it go. Definitely wouldn't feel safe on this campus if they didn't do anything about it. Um, I don't know where I would go from there. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I would do. I think it's easy to say like, oh, I would, you know, cause, you know, I'll tell the media or something. But I think, you know, a lot of the times it's like obviously such a such something like that's so difficult to talk about that I can't really say uh, unless I was in the situation but um, the person that's in that situation I think has two options either you know cause you know a big deal go to the media keep pushing for administration but a lot of the times the easier route what people often do is just ignore it and suppress it uh, and that's really an issue.